Since the dawn of man- Oh, wait, no. Since the dawn of man, we have had an innate fascination with paste. Some thick, some watery, and some tasty. But most importantly, some thermally conductive. For eons, mankind have used a substance known as thermal paste to effectively cool our transistorized lives. But what if this elixir you left without? Imagine for a moment. You are building your super epic Fortnite gamer PC of awesomeness, but when it comes to install your drastically unnecessary AIO, paste you are without. Upon this realization, you frantically run to the first place you think of. The garage. Wherein, you pick up the pastiest thing you find. Window sealer. Uh, I mean JB Weld. Now, will this work? Well, that's what we're here to find out. But first, a hypothesis. Mass produced oil pastes are commonly made of a mixture of two main ingredients. Something thermally conductive, like in the case of MX4, aluminum oxide and diamonds, and something to suspended in, like silicon. As for JB Weld, its MSDS is harder to read than rap lyrics, but if the tin is anything to go by, it's got steel in it, which given its metal should work brilliantly as a thermal conductor. Well, at least in theory anyway. So let's get started, shall we? For this experiment, I'll be using this, my Lenovo ThinkCenter M58P. My main reason for picking this machine is because its CPU mounting system should mean that pressure should be fairly consistent. Well, that and I also didn't have anything else, so that also helps. And well, yes, the Core 2 Duo rivals the heat output of a 46DX. For this test, I believe it should be more than enough. I am rather looking forward to this analysis. And it works. Not the big surprise. But the real question is, what are the temps like and, well, as we can see thanks to this very scientific graph, I need more data points. And also, the temps really aren't that bad. Now, okay, it might be easy to look at this data and think, okay, cool, so JB Weld does work well as thermal paste. Nice. Excuse me while I go put a doll up on my main computer. There's one thing I should show you. Uh, yeah. The cleanup of this substance is not exactly easy. It is much stickier and harder to handle than most other things. Oh, and also, when I was running the stress test, it smelled like burning brownies, and then after everything turned fuzzy, and I started seeing colors, and I got all dizzy like I set up too quickly, but, but, but I didn't. So in conclusion, should you use JB Weld as thermal paste? Uh, no. Between the sticky film it leaves behind and the psychotic smell, it's just not worth it, IMO. If you really need a spot of emergency paste, one substance I found to work pretty good is regular ka, I mean Colgate toothpaste. Doesn't leave a film behind as far as I know and is somewhat better than just taking it raw. This is disgusting. Which is honestly all we're really shooting for with this. And as an added bonus, you probably already have that laying around. I hope. So, um, yeah, I believe that's about it. Subscribe or you'll probably never see this channel again. Bye!